Ben Wallace is one of the greatest defensive players in the history of basketball, not just in the history of the Detroit Pistons, and his four Defensive Player of the Year awards more than prove how dominant of a defensive player he was, and his effect on the Pistons cannot go understated. The Pistons never made it back to the NBA Finals after Big Ben left the team. When Big Ben joined the Pistons, his effect on defense was felt pretty much immediately. The Pistons went from the 26th ranked defense in points allowed to the 25th ranked defense in points allowed. So you can't fully see the effect that Walls had on defense in terms of the points per game allowed. However, their defensive rating jumped all the way up from 21st out of 29 teams to 8 out of 29 teams. The record got a bit worse after the Pistons traded for Wallace, but we could get a clear vision of how good of a player he was gonna be with the right supporting cast, which he would eventually get. When you think of players that carried their teams, you generally think of them carrying their teams in terms of scoring, but Wallace carried the Pistons in a lot of other ways. In Wallace's first stint with the Pistons, he led his team in blocks, assists, and steals per game in all six seasons. In the 2000-2001 season, the Pistons only finished with a 32-50 and record, even with that insane defensive production. And in 2000-2001, Ben Walsh was actually tied with Corliss Williamson for leading his team in steals per game. In the 2001-2002 season, Rick Carlisle became the Pistons head coach, and Walsh was able to lead the Pistons to a 50-32 and record and the second seed in the Eastern Conference, along with a second round appearance. In the 2002-2003 season, the Pistons finished with the exact same record of 50-32. and However, Chauncey Billups and Richard Hamilton joined the Pistons, and with this new help, Wallace was able to lead the Pistons to the first seed in the East and an Eastern Conference Finals appearance. And during the playoffs, Ben Wallace led his team in rebounds, blocks, and steals. Phillips and Hamilton might not have shown a huge effect on the regular season record, but they showed a clear effect on the postseason record. And Wallace's stats were starting to translate to winning. After getting swept in the Eastern Conference Finals, the Pistons decided to bring in Larry Brown. And Larry Brown was able to help lead the Pistons and Ben Wallace to a championship. And during that championship season, Wallace was able to lead the Pistons to the third seed in the Eastern Conference. And during the playoffs in that 2004 championship run, Wallace yet again led his team in rebounds, blocks, and steals. And was a very key contributor to the Pistons winning the championship. Chauncey Billups would go on to win the NBA Finals MVP, and deservingly so. But Wallace was also a key contributor. In the 04 05 season, Wallace was able to lead the Pistons to the NBA Finals. They did not win that series, but they got there. And Wallace, during the 2004 05 playoffs, was able to lead the Pistons in rebounds, blocks, and steals, and was yet again a key contributor. And then in the 2005 2006 season, Flip Saunders became the head coach, and Wallace was able to help lead the Pistons to the best record in the NBA and an Eastern Conference Finals appearance. Now, in my personal opinion, this is the season in where I would say that the Pistons were Chauncey Billups's team more than they were Ben Wallace's team, but Wallace was certainly still a key contributor. So I spent a pretty decent chunk of time so far talking about how Ben Wallace led his team in three out of five of the major stats. In Ben Wallace's case, it was rebounds, blocks, and steals. So for some perspective, some notable Pistons who led their team in three out of five stats during the regular season include Bob Lanier, Andre Drummond, Isaiah Thomas, and Grant Hill. There could be others, but those are the ones that I could find. Ben Wallace and Grant Hill, to my knowledge, are the Pistons' all-time leaders in leading their teams in 3 out of 5 stats during the regular season. In terms of leading their team in 3 out of 5 stats and taking their team to the playoffs, Ben Wallace leads all Pistons that I'm aware of, doing it five times. And in terms of players who led their team in 3 out of 5 stats during the playoffs, again, this is, as far as I know, this is 
as much as I could find. Isaiah Thomas did it six times, and Ben Wallace did it five times. Lanier did it four times. Drummond did it once, and Grant Hill also did it once. Now, players that led their team in three out of five stats during the playoffs, getting their team to the NBA Finals or winning the NBA Finals, include Isaiah Thomas, who did it three times, and Ben Wallace, who did it two times. And in terms of Pistons, who led their team to a championship while leading their team in three out of five stats during the playoffs, Isaiah Thomas did it twice, and Ben Wallace did it once. In terms of where Wallace's production ranks in the history of the Pistons, his 7,264 rebounds are fourth, his 931 steals are second, his 1,486 blocks are first, his 11.1 rebounds per game are seventh, his 1.4 steals per game are eighth, and his 2.3 blocks per game are first. In terms of Wallace's playoff production, his 1,237 rebounds are first, his 172 steals are second, and his 215 blocks are first. In terms of some notable regular seasons that Wallace had, his three seasons of averaging three blocks per game or more are first. Him and Bob Lanier are the only Pistons to average three blocks per game in a season. His five seasons of averaging 12 or more rebounds per game are second. And his six seasons of averaging 10 rebounds, one block, and one steal per game are top two in Pistons history with Andre Drummond. In terms of some notable postseason averages that he had, his four post seasons of averaging 10 rebounds, two blocks, and one steal per game are first. In the 2003 playoffs, Wallace averaged over two blocks per game and over two steals per game. He is one of 12 players, not in Pistons history, but in NBA history to do that in the postseason. Wallace's four Defensive Player of the Year awards are tied for the most in NBA history with Dikembe Mutombo. He was a four-time All-Star, a five-time All-Defensive First Team, and a one-time NBA champion. And he wasn't just a one-time NBA champion, he was a very key contributor to why the Pistons won it all in 04. Continuing a little more with Wallace's ranks in the history of the Pistons, Wallace had seven steals in a playoff game, which is a current Pistons record. His 169 double doubles ranked sixth. His 30 playoff double doubles ranked third. His 93 games with five or more blocks ranked first. His 19 games with five or more steals ranked second. His 50, 20 or more rebound games ranked third. His two games with 10 or more blocks rank first. His 210 games with two or more steals and two or more blocks rank first. His four games with 10 or more rebounds, five or more steals, and five or more blocks rank first. And his three 5x4 games are top five in Pistons history. Now, I may have missed some 5x4 games. Bob Lanier had some 5x4s. Isaiah Thomas had some 5x4s. But as far as I know, Wallace's three 5x4 games are top five in the history of the Pistons. I should also note that in terms of these total games, they all include the regular season and the playoffs, unless I stated otherwise. The last thing I'm going to go over in this video are Wallace's Defensive Player of the Year seasons. In the 2001-2002 season, Wallace was able to lead the Pistons to the 6th ranked defensive points allowed per game and lead the Pistons to the 8th ranked defensive rating. Wallace was able to lead the NBA in rebounds per game and blocks per game along with averaging 1.7 steals per game. In the 2002-2003 season, Wallace was able to lead the Pistons to the 1st ranked defense in the NBA in terms of points allowed and the fourth ranked defensive rating. Wallace had again led the league in rebounds with 15.4 along with 1.4 steals per game and 3.2 blocks per game. In the 2004-2005 season, Wallace was able to lead the Pistons to the second ranked defense in points allowed and third ranked defensive rating. Wallace was able to average 12.2 rebounds, 1.4 steals, and 2.4 blocks per game. In Wallace's last Defensive Player of the Year season, he was able to lead the Pistons to the third ranked defense in points allowed and fifth ranked defensive rating. Wallace in the 2005-2006 season averaged 11.3 rebounds per game, 1.8 steals per game, and 2.2 blocks per game. So Wallace was clearly a great basketball player, and he most certainly deserved to have his jersey number retired by the Pistons. So that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope Hope you enjoyed.